Hey guys, welcome to the first round of Castle Coombe in 2023. Last year is my first year, and it went okay. Uh, the last two rounds were pretty bad. That's probably why they're not on the channel. So hopefully this year goes better. And I'm just gonna go straight away into the first heat. Alright, and my first heat is my pole heat, because I'm number 7. Usually if you have like a single digit number, then your pole heat is your first heat. And for the start, there is no one alongside us, and we get away pretty clean now just to try and build a gap and pretty much just have a boring race here. All heat's always quite boring. So that's not very good viewing to start on your all heat I suppose. But um, behind me is Seb Miller and he's pretty quick. So I might have some difficulty trying to get away from him. He's uh, got quite a few podiums in Castle Coom. So, yeah, just always looking behind me, making sure he's not getting too close. I'm trying to set some good laps, because obviously you need a good lap for uh, your qualifying. Qualifying is based on the points you get from scoring in the heats, and then if you tie on points, it's based on who got the fastest lap. So you do need to try and set a pretty fast lap, in case you do tie on points of anyone, which is quite common. And of course, if you do set the fastest lap of the day, you get extra point. So still just driving around doing laps, trying to get a good time. Um, I really struggle to find things to, to talk about when I'm just like driving around and not following anyone. I don't have really anything to talk about that's going on in the heat. So um, up the hill and look behind, see if I go defensive or not. Nope, just take the normal line. And I, I hit the wall a little bit there so I might get a bad time. Slide there, so it definitely won't be a good time. And uh, a 25 6, so maybe Seb will be a bit closer now because I got a pretty bad time. So we can up the hill and we look behind. Yeah. Do I go defensive? I do, but I left too much space and he tries to go through, but I'm pretty sure he lets me go by. I would have been fine with it if you kept it because I left the space there, I shouldn't have left the space, it's my fault. But um, yeah, it's a win, so 10 points, best way to start it, and Miller gives me a fist bump. And uh, yeah, on to the second heat. Alright, second heat now, starting third, so let's see if I can get a good start. Third's always a good place to start, but first gets a bad start, so I have to give him a little bit of a bump. Get through on second, nope. So we're gonna go side by side with Chicane, and I'm not one to put people into walls, so he manages to stay ahead. Then I go on the inside on the top hairpin and get it done there. So, already moved up a position, so just have to see now if I can catch up to first place. I feel like I say so a lot, and I, like once you notice it, I feel like it's really annoying. And I was, I was just about to say it again. Okay. Following first place. Caught up a little bit, I think. And, uh... Yeah, it's just too hard to not say so. so going up the hill. Oh, it's, ah! Okay. Going up the hill, following first place. Still a bit closer. Maybe on... Uh, the next lap, I should be close enough to go for a move. By how much I've got up in this lap. So we're right behind him now, he looks behind, and then he has to work that little divot a bit, and then he goes wide here, and so I go up the inside, and we're side by side. I am a little bit ahead, I look behind, just to make sure I don't put him in the wall, because we sit at the same table, so it'd be pretty awkward. And around the top hairpin, and now to try and get another good lap slide a bit there. And cross the line for my attempt at doing a good lap. It's an okay hairpin. And then the chicane, I believe it's called. Some people say S's, I think. I think it's called the chicane. And then around the top hairpin, I got a really bad entry. Well, I did a really bad entry. But 
that was pretty good. And then around here to the finish line, and it was a 25.5. But 20 points, so we're doing perfect so far. Alright, we're lined up for my third heat, I'm starting fifth, so I need to get this one right if I want to qualify well. And so we get a really good start, bump third. Let's see if we can get through on fourth, and we can, and then we're side by side with third. Let's see if we can get him, I have to back off a little bit. But yeah, we get him. Alright, now we're in third place from fifth already, so pretty good. And uh, my start was actually 0.154. Uh, my reaction speed to the light going green on my foot first moving. So I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, on the second lap now, right behind the second place, feeling a lot faster than him. Going up the hill, giving a little bit of a bump so I get a bad run. So I won't be making a move this time. Maybe next time, if I don't bump him, I might be able to get a good run. Uh, looks like first is now holding him up a little bit, so still right with him. And onto lap three, the bottom hairpin. Let's see if I can get a better run this time. Right behind him, I'm just gonna go wide a little bit so I can get some space to try and get a good run. Going down the inside, and the guy in first place loses his number, and I take second place. Do I? We're still side by side, and I. Go as deep as I could without completely shunting first place into the wall, and I take second. Just looking behind there, see he's still pretty close. It gives me a pretty hefty knock to T1. Going up the hill, and first place gets a really bad run. It's like he's not fully on the accelerator. I'm already like almost side by side with him going up the hill. I'm really far back. So if I just wait a little bit, maybe the next time we go up the hill, then I could get a move done, but he gets a really bad run here, I try and go for the move, and I hit him out of the way, so I apologize, and then go back through, Let's see if we can get him up the hill, and he still gets a bad run, so it's almost like he's just not fully on the accelerator, but um, I don't get the move done, so in hindsight, I should have waited until we got to the hill, and then just sailed past. But I'm um, finishing second, so still not that bad. We're only two points off perfect if I finish first in the next heat, so we'll see how I do. Okay, time for the final heat, my fourth heat, starting third again. So should be a good start. Good green. And hitting a lot of good starts today, so I bump first. Give him a little bit of a nudge because he's going pretty slow for turn one. And I'm still side by side a second some space and I come out ahead. So that's always good. Starting in second, or not starting in second, but coming out in second after starting in third. So now just same as usual, chase down first place and see if we can get an overtake. He's already making some mistakes, so I'm right behind him for the start of lap two. Let's see if I can get a good run on him. Uh, see. I don't know what I was really trying to do there. I don't think I was ever going to make a move happen there, but uh, not a good enough run up the hill. Maybe I could have sent it down the inside, there was enough space, but mm, I don't think I was close enough to really be safe. So I'm uh, just sticking right behind him. Got like three, well, start of lap three, or just a couple laps to uh, wait for him to make a mistake. Give him a bit of a tap there, see if he'd leave the space. And going up the hill. Can I go for it? Mm, he's a bit defensive. Comes out wide, I give him another bit of a tap. Just see if he leaves the space. And uh, just right behind him, he's all over the place. So I started lap 4. Into the bottom hairpin. And see if I can get another good run. Uh, another bit of a tap. See if he'll leave the space. As I said before, and we are pretty close this time. So I'm looking down the inside. Am I going to go for it? Yeah. I just about managed to get it stopped, uh, there's no collision, and we're up in the first, but he comes back at me, and what, like, a beautiful overtake down the inside, I mean, I should have seen it coming, really. Absolutely fantastic move. And somehow I still come out uh, in fourth, and I set a blisteringly fast 39.23. 
probably the fastest of the day, I'd say. So uh, we've got that bonus point in the bag, and uh, it looks like I've forgotten to put the position counter, <laughs> and I'm too lazy to go back and re-export the entire thing just to have that. <laughs> So uh, coming across the line in a second, and it has ended, but I haven't seen the checkered flag yet, so I'm still going at it. And we're at 32 points, fourth place, and yeah, there it is. There's the checkered flag. 32 points should have been 38, really, but uh, yeah, it's just how it is. Sometimes he got a penalty, but um, thing is, like the penalties, you lose two positions. He finished in first, I finished in fourth. So with the penalty, he finishes third, and I don't gain anything from it. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit annoying. But, uh, we go to the final. Alright, so I qualified sixth for the A final, and, uh, what you're watching here is the only thing I have from the A final. Because, for some reason, my GoPro just decided to die. Even though I, I'm pretty sure I put in either a new battery, or the battery I was using had like 40% left. I was like, oh, it's fine. Oh, it died. So, uh, I'll do my best to use clips from the video to explain what happened in the final. Okay, so let's imagine that this is the A final, and I'm starting in 6th place. So, I get a pretty decent start, and by the end of it, I have come out still in 6th place. And it stays like that for a couple laps, and the front pack is, I believe, Archie Thatcher was in 5th, Jamie Watson in 4th, and Seb Miller in 3rd. Now, Seb was going, he was going really slow, he was holding everyone up for some reason. He must have had like an issue with his cart, maybe? But uh, he was holding everyone up, and so, eventually I had caught up to the pack and I was right behind him. And uh, there was no one behind me, so I didn't really have to worry, but Archie Thatcher in front of me, was just, it was not looking behind, like, at all. So, I sent it on the top hairpin and managed to overtake him. And so, I felt pretty good, because Archie Thatcher's won, he's won races before. He's actually, I'm pretty sure he's joined five rounds of Castle Coom, and he's won three. So, that felt pretty good. And, uh, in front now was Jamie Watson in fourth. And so, I tried to do the exact same thing at the top hairpin, I think on the next lap I tried to do it, because uh, Seb Miller was still holding him up, and he held him up pretty bad at the hairpin, so I sent it on the inside again, and we were side by side, coming into the... maybe this is the S's. He's on the outside, and he squeezes me really close with the wall, and so I, I just lose so much speed, and he just sails right on by, and then Archie Thatcher gets let on through because of it. And we're, me and Archie are side by side at the finish line, and he's just about ahead. So I ended up finishing in 6th place. Which is kind of annoying, because it could have been better, but oh well, it was still okay. Overall, it could have been a better day. If I didn't have that crash uh, in the last heat, then I would have qualified way better than 6th. Like, if you think I had 32 points and qualified in 6th, like, if I had 38 points, it must have been... Or it would have been a way better position for me. Well, that's all there is for this video. And uh, for the next three rounds at Castle Coombe, well, not three rounds, but round two of Castle Coombe and the two rounds from SRK at Castle Coombe, they are all recorded fine. So no worries of missing out on any heats or finals there. Still a bit annoyed about it. This was over a month ago. But um, if you made it this far, then please consider subscribing and uh, watching some other videos, and thank you. See ya.